Okay, I'm going to show you how to draw a simple cat. Let's start out by making a circle at the top of your paper and leave room for the ears. Then do a triangle on one side and a triangle on the other. Okay. Next step I'd like you to do would be a triangle right in the middle of the circle. Come down with a straight line and curve up on one side. Go down and curve up on the other side. Those are the cheeks. And then for the eyes, you can do just a smile expression on one side and a smile on the other. Now your kitty cat looks like it's asleep. If you want to keep him asleep, you could draw little short lines for the eyelashes. But I'd like my cat to have open eyes. So starting at the corner, I'm going to draw like a frown or a rainbow shape. And on the other side in the corner, a frown or a rainbow shape. Gives a nice cat's eye. Then in the middle for the pupil, you can just draw a straight line for your cat. Or if you want the eye a little bit more open, you can make that a little thicker. As long as we're working on the face, we can finish the face by doing the whiskers. And I like to put two, three or four little dots on each side and then a nice long line coming out because whiskers help a cat measure uh, narrow spaces. And you can draw another smaller triangle on the inside of the bigger triangle. Okay, we got the cat's face. For the body, on either side of the bottom of that circle, do a curve line on one side, go over, and a curved line on the other side. That's going to be the cat's body. For the front legs, come down around halfway and just draw a straight line. Once you've done that on either side, come down and draw another line. Go on the other side of that first straight line and draw another line. Those will be the front legs. We need pause. So on these two lines, just draw a half circle. And the legs are very close together. So on these two lines, just draw another half circle. So you have the front paws. Cats have four legs, so we need what's called the hind legs. So somewhere near where you started the top of those front legs, draw a half circle on one side and a half circle on the other side. Those are going to be the uh, back legs or the hind legs. And near the bottom, you can just draw a curve line for the back paw and another curve line for the other back paw. To show the little claws, I'm going to do the front paws first. I'm going to do one, two, three lines, one, two, three lines there, and the same for the back paws. Two, three, one, two, three. Looks pretty good so far, but he's missing or she's missing her tail. The tail is in the back of the cat, but since it's long, it might be showing from the side. So what I'd like you to do is just draw a curved line, but that's too thin. So right next to it, just follow that curve and close it up and you have the cat's tail. Now we can add details to this cat by, um, doing anything you want. I might want to put a collar around my cat's neck and you see that it's round under there. So I'm just going to follow that curve 
and I have the collar and I want to put an ID tag in case my cat gets lost it will have he or she's name on it so I think I'm just going to make a circle and any information about that cat could be written right there right now the cat is floating in the air let's have the cat either on the floor or on a table or on the ground so somewhere from the body draw a line to the end of your paper and follow across don't go across your cat but on the other side of the cat have a line going to the other side of the paper if you want to add a uh, I might make this what's called a tabby cat. Tabby cats have stripes. So I think I'm just going to put some triangles on the face. And maybe some triangles which will be colored in as stripes on the body. And I'm matching the design on both sides, making my cat have symmetrical stripes the same on both sides and some stripes along the tail I'm liking the way he looks or she looks and then you can color it in any way you want I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you again soon